I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. We are reporting from inside due to the COVID-19 virus. Of course, that has been front and center on everyone's minds. The cannabis industry has tried to remain open, and in some places, it has been deemed an essential item. And that means that the dispensaries can stay open, even though a lot of retailers have closed. What has also happened is that a lot of people have uh, bought a lot of cannabis in advance because they thought they might be stuck inside for quite a while and they didn't know if the dispensaries would close. So sales actually has increased in some places. We've also seen some of the dispensaries get kind of creative and just switch to online ordering and curbside deliveries. There are some dispensaries, of course, that have a drive through window and that's kind of cool. And they look like the really smart guys right now for having drive through windows. And then some dispensaries are just doing a six foot distancing type of thing within their dispensaries and marking, taping out things on the, the floors. The delivery businesses said that they've actually seen an increase in customers shopping online and wanting items delivered, so good for them. Canopy Growth made the decision to close its Tweed and Tokyo smoke stores in Canada. They are switching to only e-commerce for now. We still had some earnings to report this week. CB Sciences had total revenue of $53 million for the fiscal year of 2019. During the fourth quarter, their sales declined 34% to $9.4 million. And then they said next quarter, it's going to drop again to six to $8 million. Alethea Health reported a 22% sequential increase in quarterly net cannabis revenue to $6 million, but the net loss was $9.8 million. For the fiscal year, their net revenue was $16.4 million. And then finally, Acreage Holdings, former president George Allen, made an investment into Indus Holdings. Indus said it received $2.3 million in a loan from Alamo, Allen's Geronimo Capital and Merida Capital Partners. Now, the financing could go up as high as $14.5 million. It seems like the plan is for these new lenders to bring in a new team, the new team says it's going to focus on fewer SKUs, but make those fewer SKUs the, the best that they can deliver. And they're also really trying to keep the focus back in California versus all the states that they've expanded to. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report. Everyone stay safe out there.